Welcome back guys, let's get into the holiday spirit metric generic model. Let's open that up. Let's go to the front view. Let's put some reference planes in. One for the height, one for the width. Let's add our dimensions in and the parameters. Let's create a Reap blend and sketch a path. What I'm going to do now is add some formulas in to sort of lock this down a little bit. So let's look at using the length as the formal's priority. And let's move that up one. And then we're going to add a formula for the height. So let's call that length multiplied by 0 0.8, the W button. Let's call that H times 0 0.75. And then the top, let's call that W button times 0 0.8 and so in this instance if you flex the length then everything else automatically flexes so let's call this let's call it 375 that's around about right so let's give this a type and let's call it standard we can close the other windows and let's start a new family again so file new family english metric generic model and open that up so i'm going to do a blend and so i'm going to edit the bottom let's use the circular tool let's call it 50 and then we can edit the top to another circle and let's call that one 25 and then i'm going to go to front create another reference plane for the top and then give this a dimension for height then i'm going to align the top to the reference plane and make sure the bottom is also aligned and let's give this a realistic height so let's call this two meters and okay the next thing i'm going to do is import my guidance sketch so i'm going to go to insert import image then i'm going to select my guidance sketch so i'm going to use this as a basis to draw my tree so what i want to do is if i quickly sketch over this i want to make my tiers so if i have a tier here and a tier there and a tier here before I get into the top then that will be equal to three tiers i'm going to add more tiers than that so i'm going to start creating my reference plane skeleton so i'll go to create reference planes and then i'm going to draw in some tiers The next thing I'm going to do is go to the plan view again and then I'm going to go to create and then use the blend tool again and then use the circle and then for my base I'm going to go out let's call this 700 and then edit the top and then that one let's call this one 250 and then we can finish that and then head back to our front view. So what I'm going to do now is attach this 
so I'm going to use the drag nodes and then I'm going to drag this into the appropriate place so I want my tree to look approximately like this in terms of the coverage so what I can do is add some additional reference planes at these junctions it can be indicative it's not 100% accurate science here And then I can go back to my branch family and just before I load it in, let's add a material parameter. Let's call it material and then leave that at type and then OK. And then I can load that in and no need to save at this point. And then let's go to the plan view and put that there. What we can also do is just move it in place so that this sits on the outer edge which will be the lowest tier and then let's look how that is in the front view and then i'm just going to move that up again selecting it and using the move tool there so i'm just going to move that up to there that looks okay and then what I'm going to do is create a array by dropping down the copy tool and going to array. Then I'm going to use the radial array function. I'm going to move my center point using place. And then I'm going to use my start angle. And then I'm going to do it. I'm going to do 12 of these. So I'm going to enter a formula equals 360 divided by 12 and enter and then I can type in 12 and that creates the array so let's see how that looks like in front view again that looks relatively okay so let's do one more thing let's go into the family tab and select it and then go to edit type and then let's rename this standard one to tier one tier one And then press OK and OK again. Now in the families list, let's duplicate this. And automatically Revit gives me tier 2. So let's modify the dimensions in these different tiers. So I'm going to right click, go to type properties. And then let's change this length for tier 2 down to 320 and then because we entered the formulas the others changed automatically so that's okay and let's drag that tier 2 in place and then again I can place it in one direction and then just use the move tool and then move the end to the second reference plane and again we can copy using the array tool so i'm going to do that for all of my tiers and then we'll see how it looks
so that seems reasonable what I'm going to do is lower some of these down so I'm going to select the top two tiers do a SA to select all then I'm just going to move them down slightly just so that they overlap a little bit and then I'm going to select one of the groups double click to edit and then select the top one and then move that down also and then finish that and then all of them are edited everything cal seems reasonable so what i'm going to do now is add a material so i'm going to go to manage materials and then i'm going to create a new material right click rename i'll call this green and then i'm just going to select a nice green color to go with the branches and then i'm going to right click go to type properties and then i'm going to call this green select it Control c to copy it and then select ok and let's go to our 3d view and change it to consistent colors oh one thing i didn't do go to the graphics tick that box and there uh, done and then i'll do that for all the other tiers as well What I'm going to do is change the material of the trunk as well. The next thing I'm going to do is the star on top. So let's go to our front view to do that. So I'm going to go to create and I'm going to use the simple extrusion and then let's draw the horizontal at the top let's call that one two five from the midpoint and then come down change that angle to 36 and then i'm going to rotate this around So what I can do for that is move that out slightly and just push that down in our view. I'm going to select the move tool and then I can move that down to about there. That seems to be okay. So next thing I'm going to do is add some decorations to our tree. So let's go back to the front view. I'm just going to create a revolve and then I'm going to draw this off, the, off to the side here. I'm going to draw the axis and then I'm going to draw the boundary line which will be a half circle. Let's make this 60 and 30. And close that up. That looks more reasonable. So let's select our bauble. Let's go to create a material for that. Create new material. Rename. Let's call that a red. And we select the standard red color and OK. Let's add one more thing to our revolve. Let's add the string that attaches to it. So now we have our bauble in place so now that's done i'm going to do one more thing you note know here that it does have a work plane associated to it so i want this to be free floating so i'm just going to click on the disassociate work plane and then the work plane is not associated what i'm then going to do is just select the move tool and then i'm going to move that to our branches 
So I'm just gonna start with that one there. Now let's have a look how that is in the 3D view. So now the bubbles are placed in one direction. I'm going to select all of them. And then I'm going to go to the plan view. And then I'm going to go to, then I'm going to go to copy array, change that number to 12, make sure the group and associate is unticked. And then I'm going to change my center point and then I'm going to select first and second and that's going to rotate them around so back to the 3d view now I can randomly select one of them and then I can select a different material so I can go to create new material and let's go with primary colors so let's call this one blue and then I select the default blue and make sure the graphics is also ticked for blue. So I'm now gonna go around and change some of these to randomize it a little bit. And there we have it guys, we have our holiday treat, I hope you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.